Hello everybody, uh, <clears throat> if you didn't see, I recently posted a video about teaching you how to play Onslaught. Uh, I'm a legend on the NA server, so I'm decent at Onslaught. Uh, <clears throat> I'm just going to be continuing where I left, left off in that last video. If you didn't see that last video, I'd recommend watching it. There's, towards the end of the video, some pretty insane games I had, uh, and I think I covered most of the basics in that video i'm probably not going to go over too much of that again i'm just going to be talking more about the gameplay and strategies that i'm using and my thought process this time around so we played eight games so far in the last video uh and we have 5,000 average damage which is pretty insane and we had a 9,000 damage game as well which is pretty cool some carries uh so let's just start where we left off um playing some onslaught Alright, so if you didn't see the last video, the only tank I have on this account on this account is the 430U. I just wanted to start off on a fresh account, and I didn't want to drop my stats on my main account as well as another... That's another reason why I'm playing on this account. Uh, but anyways, we get uh, Westfield. I'm going to play the 430U because it's my only tank. Uh, <clears throat> on this map, uh, what you want to do kind of depends on your team's comp. If you're super heavy with a ton of... S conks and you can play the north side and try to play the cap. It's sometimes good to have like a CS63 go for this position up here uh, or like a some kind of medium tank. Um, but if your team decides to bring like a sturve and a bunch of fast tanks and it's better to play offside, sometimes a light tank can work. Um, looking at our comp, I'm just going to see where our team goes. I'm kind of hoping that they don't play in this area and they instead play on the outside because if you play in this area here, and you don't have enough support there, then they can take out here and then just put you in a crossfire and it's really bad. Um, I'm going to load AP because I might have to shoot through fences. Uh, I have to be careful here. I don't want to get overran. So I'm actually going to go for this thing instead. I want to see where they are before I commit into this village. I mean, I'm already kind of committing, so it's not great, but... Um, I don't think they'll get the strike before I get this, so I don't have to worry about getting struck and my thing reset. They don't have a light tank, which is good. Okay, uh, that's that's good. They only have a Progetto out here. Uh, and our team is flanking here, and they don't have a Sturve, which is very important because a Sturve can cover that easily. Okay, we get a shot in. I want to keep these trees between me and them so that I don't get lit. Um, I think I'm going to go north here, actually. Um, we have an IS-7 up here. We have good north control, so it's going to be hard for them to flank around like this, but they w they might attempt to anyways. Or should I go for the 277? I'm worried about them overpeaking here, so I don't really want to go for the 277. I think I should probably go all the way north. We are down HP right now, which is not good. We still have two tanks on the offside, but so do they. So it's kind of an even fight, but they have a lot of s conks and we don't which is bad. I'm thinking that I might not be able to play outside here because of just the fact that they have better tanks for it. I'm gonna flank for now. I'm trying not to get proxied. This is probably too aggressive. Uh, I need to get safe from the STB here. And I'm just, I just want to trade with this guy. I have the DPM to trade with him as long as I can make this work. I'm just going to load AP. I have lost quite a lot of HP. But I think I can still out DPM him. It's going to be close though. Okay, he's getting into cover. That's bad. I think I made a mistake here, honestly. And I'm dead. Yeah. <clears throat> I felt pressured to do something because my team was clearly losing this battle. Um, they have a much better comp. Just Their comp is almost perfect besides maybe the Progetto. Uh, we just have too many bad heavy tanks. 57 heavy is terrible for this. Kron is pretty bad because of its low HP. M4 is just easy. It's a huge target. I played that pretty terrible, but I don't know exactly what I what I should have done. Maybe I should have just pushed the Progetto on the outside, but then we would have lost the north easily. Uh, I don't know exactly what I could have done, honestly. I probably should have just played for damage instead of the win. But yeah, I mean, what I did was bad. I knew that their SDB could overpeak me. I was just hoping he would be distracted by the guys in the north, but he wasn't. Mm. 
whatever, we'll just go next. <clears throat> Seems like whenever I play this, uh, the first game is always terrible, which is unfortunate because then people are probably going to think that the whole video is going to be like that, but I'm hoping we get some decent games. So we got Ghost Town, Cell Spawn, this is our last battle for qualification. Uh, <clears throat> I'm paying attention to what composition we bring. I'm hoping the enemy doesn't bring a light tank. Because a light tank makes it very hard to play this outside area, which is usually a pretty strong area. I'm thinking I might go for the, for this right away, this cap circle. But I kind of would need support for that, which I'm not sure I'll have because we don't have any medium tanks to go wide. But I might do it anyway just because I think the 430 is really good for that. Um, let me just see where my team goes first though. Okay, they're going left side. I'm actually going to go left side then. Uh, hopefully our TVP doesn't die. They don't have a light tank because we didn't get spotted in the first second of the game. So that's good to know. An E50M plus a 430U is going to be basically impossible to push over here unless they have like four tanks. Uh, and if our heavy support us, even that might be kind of hard for them. 430U I think is really good in this area because it can play hull down and it has good upper hull armor. Uh, we're not getting lit on the cross, which is good. Won't get shot by the E4. Um, I just want to get up here, watch this cross, and I'm hoping to progress on this side, but I need more information on how many tanks they have in this area. Okay, this Udez is in the open. I'm just going to farm him. And I bounce him. Sick. I think he's permalit. No, he's not. Let me light him. Okay, we get a shot on. Our E50M is pushing up. Which is pretty aggressive to do solo. I don't really like that he's doing that at all. I'm just going to farm this Udez. I know I should try to help my teammate, but I think he's probably going to die before I even get there. So that's why I'm not doing that. This guy's stuck in the open, so I'm just going to take the advantage. Or take the opportunity just to kill him. I don't really know what he's doing, but... Okay, I need to try to help our 50M now. Looks like the enemies are playing the east side of the city now, but they don't have any tanks out wide. Um, I think I'm just going to go kill the STB. They don't have any tanks on the outside of the city that can farm me coming in, so... C50M might get mad at me that I didn't support him, but I don't... I stand by what I did. I think it was the right play. Oh, come on, bro. This guy can pen me, so I gotta be careful, but... Dude. This gun control sometimes, it's true. Okay, my next play, I'm gonna try to make my way into this area. Uh, I, okay, good, that guy's getting the strike. I was just gonna say, I forgot to get the strike. I'm gonna repair my fuel tank, because this thing gets set on fire constantly. I kinda wanna get the strike, but at the same time, these guys are on the corner. I'm gonna get the strike, though. Uh, this game is slowed down, so there's no... There's no, uh, there's no strong incentive to push in because my teammates aren't dying or something, so I can just get this strike. Thinking about where I can use it, that'll get the most damage. I'm going to save it for now because I want to hit two tanks at once. We do have cat pressure with our mouse. I think I might be able to side scrape this 60p actually. And I bounce. That's sick, dude. This gun is trolling the hell out of me. I'm trying to retract, but I don't want to miss my shot either. Okay, he's double tracked. That's great. I'm going to load AP just to make it easier to pen this. Although it should be fine with heat as well. Their M4 could be around this corner. I'm going to load heat for him. I was lucky. This guy might set me on fire. That's what I'm worried about. I track him. I'll just try to perma track him. Looking for the green green on the reticle to pen him because I, it's not exactly easy to pen that angle. This game is still kind of close. i got to be careful. 
I need to back up because these guys can double tap me. Okay, this game should be over. I'm hoping it doesn't set me on fire. Okay, pretty solid game. I was a little bit sketchy with my movement there on the corner. I could have been overpeaked and gone down to a one shot or something, but it worked out. So, 6,600 damage. Once again, power of the 430U. Uh, it could have been even more. It's just I bounced so many shots. Um, this gun is not great from range. And the heat, I don't like the heat ammo. It really trolls. So we got only five wins in our quals despite doing a lot of damage. But that's just, you know, it's just luck. It just works out that way. Uh, so we have gotten up to 500 points. Um, I didn't play the last season on this account. So uh, the, if you play previous seasons, it gives you a boost in your initial points if you uh, did well in the previous season. Uh, so we only start out at 500, but uh, that's fine. I think I did decently well. All right, let's go next battle. Okay, so it's been a few days since I recorded the last session in Onslaught. Um, but since then, they've released a micro patch, which changed a few of the abilities in Onslaught. So I wanted to quick go over those, just show you what they were, and give you my opinions about them. So Fury, which is the uh, <clears throat> ability that the E50M and 430U get, was slightly nerfed. Um, the gun reload was was nerfed um, only for the third stage though from 40% reload buff to 35% and the duration was reduced by 3 seconds but I've tried out the E50M and 430U and they're still extremely strong the nerf really wasn't as big as I think it should have been but they're still very very viable the inspire boost was buffed slightly the percent bonus went up um, so the STB1 and the Sen AX are a little bit better now um, but again, not a huge change, but they're definitely more viable now. Um, <clears throat> the CS63 uh, ability was slightly nerfed um, for the third third stage of the ability. The stun time was reduced by two seconds, and the damage was like very slightly nerfed. Not really a big change. The main point of this, anyways, is just to reset cap circles, so it's still still solid ability. Uh, this one is nice. The TD, the FE4005 ability, and the Fosh B ability was nerfed. Um, the time, uh, the acceleration was reduced by two seconds, and the amount of hit points that you um, get. The percentages looks like they're the same. So when you get shot, you receive hit points back when this ability is active. So the percent did stay the same but what did change it looks like it stayed the same but what did change is the you get like a flat HP HP bonus um, regardless of whether you get shot or not it went from 150 HP to 75 so really a pretty small change um, and then the assault tank destroyer one which I think is like the badger wait let's see yeah it's like the badger T1 1023 was buffed as well. The reload time for getting shot was increased. Your reload reduction is increased from 4 seconds to 5 seconds when you get shot. Repair speed doesn't really matter that much. Engine power was increased as well, but these are all pretty small changes, nothing crazy. So let's just get into the first battle. I'm still going to be using 430U. Okay, so we get mines. North spawn. I prefer the south spawn on this map. I think it's far stronger. Well, quite a bit stronger anyways, because you can play the outside of the map instead of going hill. And I think it's very, very strong to do that. Um, <coughs> haven't played any games today, so my aim might be a little bit rusty. Um, the first thing I want to look at on mines is the comp that my team brings. If we bring a lot of CSs, then we, we're going to have to go hill. Looks like we have only like one CS so far, though. So I'm thinking we'll play outside the hill, or at least try not to take the hill. Um, that would be ideal.
So I asked my team to not take the hill, just bleed them going up. I'm gonna see how many tanks of ours go on the offside, because if we don't send enough, then I wanna go myself. Um, it looks like my whole team is going middle, so I don't think I can actually go on the outside, which really sucks, because we might lose the hill and the offside if they send tanks up. I just want to bleed them going up in the initial stages of the battle, but they only send one up. Which is pretty bad for us, because our CS is probably going to lose the fight up there. So I don't want to get hit by the 60, so I'm going to try to avoid him. I think I'm just going to play in the rocks for now. Uh, i got to be careful of them flanking on the outside here, though. Yeah, our CS is going to lose on the hill, it looks like, which is not good. I kind of would like to take the hill, actually. But we'll see how that goes. I'm saving my boost and reload. Um, until I get a higher level. Looks like they're not flanking from the outside yet. I guess another th way they, they nerf this ability is it looks like you don't get the, the third stage right away. I want to pressure this guy. He's kind of in a crossfire. I'm going to use my boost. We need to damage his CS if we can because he's a bigger threat. He's providing a crossfire for their team the whole time. I'm going to repair my fuel tank because this thing gets set on fire constantly. Oh, our team is making good pressure here, but they have a 57 heavy behind, so I've got to get safe from him. Take him out. Looks like we're probably going to win the hill here. I'm just going to pressure this 277. He's alone. I have good DPM. They're coming behind. I'd like to get out that CS, but I don't have a shot on him right now. Looks like our team is winning this, which is great. I'm just going to turn around now and go for these two. They're kind of getting surrounded themselves. Try to get the kill. I think you get more XP and stuff for the kill, which will help with your uh, <clears throat> XP and your bonus. So they have one last tank. It might be a TD. I'm not sure where they are. Or they could be over there. Like uh, over here. I'm not sure though. I'm guessing they're actually over there, but we'll see. Okay, it's a leopard one on the offside actually. Pretty easy battle. Uh, when you see that you have an overmatch in the middle, then it's a good idea to take it. Especially when they have someone pushed up where that 60 TP was. That spot you can... You can, uh... As long as they don't have too many tanks hill, you can pressure that. Especially in a 430U, it's a great tank for going middle on this map. That's one thing I noticed on this map a lot of the time. If the enemy brings too too many CSs, or your team brings too many CSs, they just get out DPM so hard by the E50M and 430U. Um, you can just kind of push into them and there's not much they can do about it. Yeah, like I said, uh, the the nerf to this thing's ability, uh, it was too small of a nerf. Like, this thing is still extremely powerful. We got 4 kills, 6,500 damage. Uh, just kind of got lucky that I had a good team, but still I think we did everything properly for the most part. Just pressuring the middle. They only had one CS-63 to shoot us in the side, which is not really much of a concern. Especially because it's not like an E50M or 430U. Alright, let's go on to the next one. Okay, so we get Cliff. Not a terrible map for this tank, especially from the north. Uh, I usually like to play middle on this map um, in the 430U. If you're in a CS-63, then you can... There's a lot of different options. I like to usually start at D4. Uh, if I'm on my main account and I have access to all tanks, I usually bring the CS-63. You can also play ramp, but you've got to be very careful on ramp not to get shot from low ground and H2. Um, I'm paying attention to what comp our team brings. So far we've only got one CS, uh, but we do have a BZ, which is good. I'm thinking about going one line, but I want to see how our team team uh, goes. Uh, if you have like a bunch of 277s and stuff, then I definitely think taking one line is a good option. Just taking it immediately and going to this rock here. This rock here is a very powerful position. And I think I actually am going to go 1-2. Uh, let's hope that we have enough here to just take it straight. Uh, it looks like our CS and 277 are playing aggro and we have a TVP wide to provide, 
uh, crossfire from there if they try to take one too. So we have good support here. I'm hoping that our teammates middle will play passively because I don't want them to get overran. But we do have a BZ mid, which is a really strong tank, and our 430 is playing passively, which is great. So the position I really want to take right now, since they're not contesting one too, is this rock right here. This rock right here is very powerful if you can get it for relatively free. It gives you great spots. This guy is just committing. I'm just going to kill him. I don't really want to take another shot from him, but okay, he's just dead anyways. So from here, you can crossfire them coming into middle. I'm going to intuition AP just to make it easier to pen this guy. I do want to take a cross, but I don't think I can now. This guy's making a mistake by pushing up. We get the side of a mouse to farm, which is great. He's going to take this corner in a second, so I've got to watch out for that. Um... Uh, our team is still not pushed up in mid. I think he probably could right now. It's S Conk. I can't play hold down on him, but it's not going to be great shots for me. But I can pen right there. Okay, he's just penning my couple wall. I don't want to bleed any more HP. This is kind of bad. They have one on lit tank. It's probably a TD somewhere. Their Udez is trying to cross. I need help here. I'm kind of alone. I don't know why we have three tanks pushing a 705A, but as long as I can hold here for now, it should be okay. I don't. I should probably just back up and wait for my team to win against this 705A. We do have a CS63 here to provide crossfire. And yeah, now I'm a one shot. I just gotta play passive. Didn't expect him to push up, to be honest. That should not bounce. Our team is finally coming back. Yeah, I'm just gonna let this guy take the hits on one shot, so... They do have cap pressure, but that's not really a big idea, or a big problem for us right now. Should be able to get a reset. Could have probably tracked him there. I'm gonna use my reload thing early because thought it would allow me to take him out. He dies anyway though. We have 22 seconds on reset. Um, hopefully our BZ will just block the cap. Just gonna ask him. Dude, okay, good. We got a reset. They need it. Okay. Now, now the cap is low. That was kind of close. I don't know why our BZ is not just pushing up. Take that guy out. He's still not crossing in. I don't really know why not. He's just full HP. Our 277 should just be pushing this guy. I'm going to ask him to help. I don't know what's taking our team so long to actually fight, dude. This BZ is not playing aggro. I don't know why. Hello? We can fucking take this guy, bro. Just drive in. I'm about to leave just because this guy is refusing to do anything, but I guess I can get the strike. This is a part of the problem of... Uh, like, uh, when you're not playing at the higher tiers, people can just be kind of clueless as to what they're doing. Finally, RBZ goes in, but this game is over regardless, so it should be fine. I'm just going to get this strike. Dead. I've heard that using your abilities at the end of the game is just a free way to get more um, XP. I'm not entirely sure if that's true. I think it was true last season, but I'm not sure if they changed it. Like, even if you do no damage to them, so. I think I bled too much HP this game, but besides that, I think it was pretty fine. 4,200 damage. Uh oh. Yeah, kind of, I don't know what the hell this, these guys are doing, but well, it worked out. Let's go probably for one more, maybe two more. Okay, so we got Ensk. Oh, the enemy comp last time on Cliff was really slow. 
which definitely helps when you're taking one two line because you can get free damage as they drive in as you saw we did on that mouse and Eskonk. so on this map it's usually the best idea if your team has one or two mouses usually two mouses at least mice uh This map is kind of strange. It's, it's a good idea not to split too much, but sometimes you can split it. It kind of depends. You need to just, if you are split with your team, you need to be mindful of what is spotted and what isn't. You don't want to overcommit on one of the sides if your team is not with you. Looks like your team is going this way. I'm just going to follow them. I'm hoping that this eyes 4 and 430 you don't do anything crazy on the other side and they just chill. I'm just gonna side scrape these guys. They're kind of in the open for me right now. I'm gonna focus this guy because he's. Uh, actually, I'm not. I don't want to get penned by the S Conk. I'm in a good spot right now to farm. It's just the flamed accuracy on this thing is not very good. Fortunately, he pens us and we don't pen him in return. He can hit my upper plate if he, if he gets lucky. But I am in a good spot. I'm gonna save my ability for the fully. The full ability. Um, I'm not. S they still have three on the tanks. They're probably city. Um, but I think our IS4 and Foshby and myself should be enough to hold that. It's gonna angle this guy out. We can play passive right now. We're not getting pressured hard. Um, maybe in the east. I think our our team might be over committing, but I'm just gonna probably gonna just stay here for now. Um, I think I need to start playing more aggressive now. Uh, I guess I could have stayed and shot the S Conk actually, but we're up a lot of HP for now. Wait, there is one unspotted tank though. Okay, there it is. It's an AFK Leo. Okay, he woke up. This thing is really good for side scraping if you haven't if you couldn't tell. Uh, we need to pressure the east right now because we have an overmatch and our our eyes four is probably gonna lose in the in the west. I won't die from one clip from this guy, so I'm just gonna pressure him. Yeah, this game is over. I'd like to get a couple games that are less of a steamroll where I actually have to think a little bit harder. So hopefully next game will be like that. I'm getting kinda lucky with the teams. Yeah, 4,000 damage, 2,000 blocked. Not too much to say really. Um, a lot of the time in this tank, I like to play passive on the rails, unless my team is hard committing to one of the sides. Uh, actually, even if they do hard commit, especially if they're going to the east, I still like to play passive because enemies retreating through the rails or just playing the rails, I can just side scrape on them and fuck them. Uh, usually, you don't need all seven tanks to push one side. Usually, if you have six tanks on that side, you'll have an overmatch regardless. Alright, so we get Overlord, North Spawn, a lot of teams will bring a light tank on this map. I don't know whether it's worth it or not, to be honest. Um, I don't think it's bad, but I'm not sure if it's really worth it. So, again, just paying attention to what comp our team is bringing, and especially on the initial. Mask our team for a couple s -Kongs. Guys, uh, a couple S conks is good on this map just to play hold down. So we got. I like to see the BZs. The BZs are really strong tanks for this map, in my opinion. Just because they have so much health and they can push in across here if need be. Uh, we do have one S conk, which is good. Uh, and kind of like most battles. Pretty much most battles, what I just do is kind of play passive 
and watch to see where my team is going wait for some initial lights on the enemies um, and then just go from there and figure out which gaps need to be filled whether we see any overmatches or whether we need to defend a flank uh, this time we have a lot of tanks going west so I'm going to show you guys a defensive location that you can use uh, to play offside so you don't really want to play here in my opinion if your whole team is going west if you want to hold the other side the best position is somewhere over here I'll see if I can find it um, I think it might be right here I can't remember I think it was here so I'm just gonna hold in this in this bush to try to spot I don't want to get lit right now unless I have a free shot of course so I'm gonna take that um, I have such good DPM even if I go overran there's a good chance I'm gonna out trade them regardless so I'm not too worried about that I don't feel like this is the right position this might be too overcommitted though I think I'm gonna I might have to back off they have a couple tanks lit mid so their whole team isn't going west which is good um, I just have to be careful here I might I might have to run I might be too slow to run but at worst case scenario I just trade off my HP and do like 3,000 damage um, the reason why I like to play back here as well is if they ignore you and they just push along here, um, you can get a lot of free side shots. That shot didn't really see you where he was. Uh, that's that's six tanks. I might repressure the west now because we have a couple BZs coming across and they a lot of their tanks are now spotted on the other side. There's their last tank, 60p. I don't really want to fight 57 heavy, but if I can find a way to get him hold down, then it should be fun. Their 60p is crossing up. I don't think they can overmatch us on this side though. Let me just get hauled down just to make it harder for him to pen me. Uh, it looks like it's kind of even, so I don't. There's no pressure on me yet to just push in. Um, if you if we were to start losing really badly, then I would have to get involved in this game for sure. The strike is about to come off. I'm just gonna come here, try to get sh side shots on this 57, and then probably get the strike after if he doesn't push me. I'm gonna ask my team for help. I don't want to get yellowed by this guy. Um, but our BZs are kind of out though. I might just have to take a 1v1 versus him. I think their Udez is coming over to help. I'm gonna face sell him just to make it harder for him to defend me. I gun block him there. I'm getting shot on the side, which sucks. This guy might be giving up. This tank is just so strong. Okay, we're gonna get this now. I have HP on this guy, so I can trade with him. Oh, wait, I have the strike. I didn't even notice. Okay, let's use the strike. I don't know why my strike is always so zoomed out. I didn't realize it was so far in the open, but this is fine. Nice good ball snipe. Uh, HP's pretty even right now. Uh, okay, he's dead. That's good. He was kind of annoying. Being so far away from me, hold down, it'd be hard to push him with my low HP. Um, I think the first play is to go for the 60p, help him out with them, because the other tanks are kind of out of the fight. Um, this guy might die though, so I've got to either hurry or back off. Don't shoot me, please. Okay, he hits our track. Good angling there. Let's use our ability. I want our BZ to kill him if possible. Okay, I guess he's not going to. Okay, he did. It's because he's a one shot for the BZ, it would be smartest to shoot him first. How does that bounce? They're E3. It's a good thing it's an E3. Okay, I'll let him take the shot. I don't know where their E3 is yet. I 
That balance, that's not good. We need to keep, we need to hold against this guy. We can't just. I like. Yeah, maybe we can just hold. It's kind of pulled down on us. Nice shot. If he over commits, then we can push on him, though. He over committed. I like our BZ to get him. Might take one from the M5Y here, but. Hopefully, he doesn't reload in time to kill us, but he might. shot. I went out a little bit further than I needed to there just to bait him into peeking. If we just go together we should get him but I don't know. I don't really trust my teammate. So I think I'm gonna slow play here. Unless our BZ goes around then I might come with him. We're kind of at in the low ground which isn't good. We can play the cap. I'd like to get the strike over here, but... If our guy gets on cap, we can start getting cap pressure. I don't know why this guy is pushing forward, dude. I'm gonna take this opportunity to go for the strike, actually. I just need to spot him somehow. I fucking bounce him. God damn it. Ah, I fucking bounce his lower plate, dude. Could've aimed it slightly better. We fucking drew, man. Our BZ, I just don't know why you would push there, man. We literally have the fucking cap. And he just pushes onto a hull down M5Y. It's just a dumb play. We had the fucking cap, bro. At least we had a closer game. 8.8k damage. And we lost. I think I did most things properly besides a few aimed shots and maybe bleeding a little bit too much to M5Y. But our BZ was just a terrible... Uh, it wasn't even this guy. This, our BZ was just a bot, so 46%. And of course they blame me, not the BZ, for just throwing by just pushing in the open field. Whatever. Uh, I think that's going to be it for this video. Ended it on a pretty good one, but unfortunately lost. Um... Yeah, hopefully these videos help you out in Onslaught. Um, if you enjoy these videos and they help you out, please like and subscribe. I would really appreciate it. And if you think this would help other players you know, maybe some of your friends, please uh, share the videos with them as it would really help out my growth on YouTube. Uh, looking to first get my first paycheck from YouTube soon. So, yeah, I'd really appreciate it. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Probably no more Onslaught um, games unless it's very requested. See you later.